Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to make a free website for your YouTube channel. You can also do this for your small business as well if you wanted to do that. But I'm going to mainly focus it on YouTube channels as that is kind of uh, a popular thing now. And it's nice to have a website alongside your YouTube channel as it's another place for people to stumble across and therefore go to your YouTube channel. And they kind of work well uh, in conjunction with each other. You can do a lot more customization on a website. The actual website we're going to go to build this is webs.com. Literally type in www.webs.com and you should get to the login page. Uh, I think it may look something similar to this dashboard, uh, I believe. Once you've signed up properly, you've got a few stages to do though before you get to this page, and that is the uh, sort of simple starter bits for your website. But don't worry, you can change that a little later on uh, you can change things like the main design uh, and stuff at the start you need your name as well and you'll need to put your domain in another advantage to this uh, website over the other builders is that the domain has the inclusion of webs.com all free websites most well most free websites online include a sort of dot something and I think dot webs.com is probably the most professional or s most professional sounding of them all so I'd go for this one webs.com the builder is really easy to use this is what I'm going to show you how to do and how to sort of make it link to your YouTube channel and things like that so I've just made an example here I've got three pages uh, you can customize the name of the page by going to the pages section and then it'll bring up this my pages and if you click rename page you can rename the page you can add a new page but I believe there might be a maximum of five or something like that with a free version but that's not too bad so you can include text text is easy you can just drag it you've got all the different places where you can put it it's really easy to use so if I just put it right at the top I could edit this just to say title or something like that and then it's really easy to use the font it's just so simple make it bigger change the font and center it. You can use something like that if you wanted. I've just uh, done a few random things. We've got a button here and a button there and I'll show you what these do in a minute. Uh, I need something to link to another page so I did this and this links you to the graphics page. Uh, if I just quickly go on to the normal website. Okay so this is what it looks properly and you can see that if I click this custom graphics thing it'll take you to the graphics page which is quite quite good it means I mean people could easily click there but they don't know what that's going to take them to whereas there they can read up on it and then it'll take them directly to that page I've also got a YouTube channel button this button here t takes you directly to the channel that's easy to do that you need to go back to the builder first of all so to, to make a YouTube channel link you need to go to the other section no you don't you need to go to the social section and you need to put in social links this widget double click on it you can add anything so if we click YouTube you can click add link and then you just put the username or URL I find it's a lot easier to just put the URL because then you don't run into any problems with similar named channels so you can do that and it has a nice little button that if you click it takes you to your channel I'm going to show you now how to make a subscribe button so that's like a direct subscribe button that you can include on your website which is uh, going to be handy if you're making this alongside a YouTube channel. So you want to go to the popular section and click, uh, drag the button icon in, uh, double click, or just click on it to edit it. And you want to, first of all, change the color. Probably red is the best color with it being a subscribe button. You can also click this star here and then click something like a tick, like, like I've done. I mean, you could put anything on there, uh, literally anything. I don't even know what that is. I can't even tell. Is that a battery? I'm I'm quite I'm sat quite far away from the screen. That looks like a home. We might as well have the tick. It's probably the most uh, useful. So let's say we put something like subscribe to my channel on it. That looks pretty good, but it's pretty useless so far because we actually need to link it to the uh, subscription link, which I've used in my example here. You want to click on the button and click the link the blue link button at the top and then you want to fill out this this is in the description if you want to copy and paste it 
HTTP dot dot slash slash www.youtube.com slash now this bit here channel could either be channel or user depending on uh, what your channel is I'm not sure how it differs but it does so be careful go to your channel uh, if you go to YouTube and then click my channel it should say either channel or user and oh that's not right and then click uh, not click then look next to it and then copy and paste this in this could be your actual channel name if you set it as that or it could just be a load of random letters like mine is but it works and it doesn't need to look pretty because no one sees it so then you have this sub confirm it confirm confirmation one equals one at the end and that should work so we'll test this is working and you can see what it looks like right so if I'm logged into YouTube with an account that's not subscribed to it already if I click the subscribe button it should there we are takes me straight to the page and puts this right in my face so I have no option but to click it of course you can click the X but if you've clicked subscribe on the website you might as well click subscribe there now what does that mean so if we come back to the website where are we there we are the builder we can also add well I, I added a page that includes all my videos which you can easily include on your website you can actually watch them on the website it still gets your YouTube views obviously but you're not watching them via the YouTube page so if we double click on the video widget which we've included here or which is included here on the popular section double click it and we can search any YouTube video and add it which is pretty easy you can include the you can in, in, upload a video but that's going to take up a lot of space uh, you can use a URL as well so it's not too hard to include a video you can easily include images uh, actually if I go back to the tutorials page I don't know what's going on wait no there we have something's going on if we go to the I think I double clicked on the pages but if I go to this page I can show you with this space here what we can what else we can do oh hang on might as well go back to the graphics page there's already a contact form on it so as an example I use this uh, submit a request this is already on the website when you start it and it's cus no what's it called contact us it's a contact us page and this is quite clever because whatever email you signed up with this will send the message to your email which is pretty easy because it's all organized all in one place uh, and that's pretty much it there's not much else to this website it's really simple as you can see you, I didn't need to tell you that just to drag an image in you literally drag it in double click and then s upload an image that's how easy it is same with videos you can organize it so easily paragraphs and writings easy the only disadvantage is webs.com will spam you with a lot of emails be warned it's a little annoying sometimes uh, you can obviously just send them all to the spam folder but or make them sent, get sent to the spam folder or just block them because obviously with it being free you can understand they want people to buy their product so fair enough really what you're getting for free is quite good the other disadvantage there are limitations you can only have so many pages you can't edit this contact form I'm sure there's a lot more other stuff you can't do there's a maximum amount of data you can have you can't put custom HTML in which would be really handy uh, it like asks you to upgrade and I don't want to be paying that for something that is not really professional but that would be a lot handy if we could include HTML because then there's a lot of stuff online that you can have so this allows you to do a lot of stuff alongside your YouTube channel it's a lot more customizable and you can sort of create it as a hub if you've got more than one social thing if you've got YouTube and other stuff or if you've got a small business so I hope you've found this video helpful if you have please leave a like it helps uh, share or get the video around puts it higher up in the uh, search results which is helpful and leave a comment if you've got any questions Every, what the hell is that that's loud Java update available I don't care if you've got oh dear it's all going wrong now if you want uh, any of the info 
that I've mentioned, it's all in the, it should all be in the description. So you've got the uh, the link, the subscribe link, and all the other links that you'll need and all the stuff that you need. So if you've got a question, please don't hesitate to ask it in the comments, and I'll see you in another video. Thanks for watching.